Hi and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Well that was a funky new intro. That was very cool. And that was by David Chaudoir. Chaudoir? Yeah, one of our customers, a big fan of Alakazam, um, wrote into us and said he would like to read through our vlog. Seeing as our last one was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I've uh, been watching the vlog and that first bit, yeah. <laughs> So I've got to go. <laughs> well, David is a uh, freelance After Effects um, artist. Yeah. So he put that together for us. So thank you so much, uh, David. It is absolutely incredible. We love it. Yeah, so that's cool. our new intro to the Alexander video blog. Lovely. Um, so Blackpool, it's over for another year. I still feel jet lagged. Oh, I'll honest. tell you. <laughs> it takes so long to get over it. It's such a great convention, but it's full on it all the time. Yeah. Um, if you attended and popped by the stand, it was great to see you. If you didn't attend, you've really got to go one year because it is incredible. Yeah, it's, there's nothing like it. It's, it's the biggest magic convention, the craziest. Everywhere you go, in every nook and cranny in uh, the Winter Gardens, there's a magician doing something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's so much to see and, and we had so much fun. And thank you to everyone that come and saw our new products. Yeah, which were great. I, I just want to say thank you as well to um, Lewis uh, Tranter, who came on the stand and he was performing Punched. Yeah. Um, and in the Ruskin, I think he was up to like five in the morning. <laughs> it was, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Moz, always part of the Blackpool Alakazam team, done a fantastic job. And the crazy man from Holland, oh. Leo Schmetzers. Yeah, do we tell that story? We'll tell it a bit later, because <laughs> okay. it is great. Um, so, Leo Schmetzers and, of course, uh, Jenny, we we're all there working hard and you yes. and me there we go we were all i weren't working that hard but yeah you were there. i'm sort of <laughs> as as usual at blackpool even though we are deming non-stop i always try and find time to go around and look for stuff that i can bring into alakazam yeah. so we found a few bits one of them i'm really excited about and we've got the european exclusive on it yes um you're going to do that today right i am going to perform that today um so that's that but our products. Yes. Thank you so much to everyone that come up to the stand and purchased, uh, you know, our new releases. The big one for me, they all sold really well. Our biggest seller, which we sold out, we sold out of two products while we were there. Yeah. Against all odds. Yeah. The lottery prediction. This thing is incredible. Um, I think I've told you the story before. I purchased the rights about 10 years ago off Mark Elsden. Yeah. Um, changed it a lot since then but i've been performing it on and off for about five or six years and it is it always gets a great great reaction oh it's a brilliant trick yeah a really really great trick and it, it's surprising you know um to lay people i had my mum she watches the vlog every week hello mum uh, and she she called up she told me she goes oh, you've got to show me that um lottery ball one in person because it's yeah. just absolutely amazing so it blew her mind on her watching it on the vlog but to see it close up and the fact that they have the cards and they they've got free they're, they're doing everything. all the all the um, choices and yeah it, so i will show you that one when i see you next there you go <laughs> <laughs> and we were getting some good responses to the to the stage effect that we've put on there as well yeah. and hopefully our very good friend michael j fitch um, said to us that he's going to provide us with footage of him performing my stage version of this. Which is, again, changes this routine. When you see it, it just opens up a whole new avenue. And the people that have got this and have watched the stream video will understand how it builds yeah. and how it's going to play in front of a live audience. So. But hopefully we'll have that footage in a few weeks for you and we'll put it right here on the vlog. Yeah. Um, the other one which we sold out of uh, Blackpool was... Gone. Yeah, I'm not going to do a pun there. They all went. <laughs> they did. Uh, <laughs> they were gone. And it's such a fun trick to demonstrate. You know, yeah. This was as soon as someone said what's new, I went straight for that. Yeah. Just because it's it's quick, it's simple, it's powerful. Uh, and, and a group of lads come up to me and said, "Can you show me that?" And I gave it everything and found out it was Daniel Bryan. <laughs> the creator of Gone, that I was actually doing it to. So, um, yeah, thanks for that, lads. But it is, that was a great, great setup. For it, us. It's, it's brilliant. And the comment I was getting when I was demoing it was um, people had seen, seen it on the trailer 
But once they see it live, mm. that's what made them really want to buy it. It yeah. is one of those things that when you see it live, it's so commercial. Um, it, it's so strong, it's so simple, and it's so clean. You know, it really looks like real sleight of hand or real magic happening. Yeah, um, and on, on that note, we, I know we're exhibiting at a couple of conventions this year, so yes. if you want to see any of these live, come and see us at them. Uh, I'm sure more information will go up yeah. um, in due course. Definitely, and the one, the one that I'm, I, I'm always proud about are releases. If I'm not, I don't release them, I don't invest in them. Um, but something I'm really pleased about is the bit book, which has been one of my favorite Alakazam releases, um, they're back. And this was flying at Blackpool, flying on, on our website. It's such an incredible little book test to carry about with you. Yeah. Um, on the actual trailer, you're only gonna see me performing one of the effects. Yeah. Um, my favorite thing to do with a bit book is to have a row of five or six people, and I'll perform different effects on all six of them yeah. and just start reading their mind. If you come up at Blackpool, you would have seen me doing this. Um, once again, we're gonna try and get some live footage of me doing that uh -huh. in the next few weeks, so we'll put that up. Um, and also remember, if you're purchasing any of Alexam's new effects, you're now getting a sort of business card in there with a registration code. Yeah. which will give you all the online footage as to how these are done. So you get your, you stream your footage. The good thing for you guys is we can update that footage. So you're always gonna be up to date with the latest routines. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because there's two or three new ideas going up for the bit book in about two to three weeks time. So check your account, um, but we will mention it on the vlog. There's new, ideas going up for Limitless in yeah. a few weeks. Uh -huh. um, and that's going to happen with all of these. We've got some new ideas for Inked going up. Um, I think, I mean, Laugh Laugh, uh, Last Laugh, Every I time. always do that, it's the double L. <laughs> last Laugh, it is what it is, that is the trick. Yeah, but yeah. if we think of another presentation, we'll put it up. But I've got one for Gone as well, Yeah, uh, which will, will go up. So yeah, we're forever creating and um, improving and adding. And just products. coming up with little touches. Yeah, so yeah. we'll be putting those up. So anyone that purchases any Alexan product from now on, you're gonna have your business card, you're gonna have your registration code. Please register it because the information, the amount of people I spoke to at Blackpool that had already purchased Limitless, yeah. but hadn't watched the bonus footage. Yeah, I know, yeah. It was incredible. And the thing is, in my mind, the real work is on that bonus footage because by the time we had the bonus footage out, we had already had another year almost to yeah. play with Limitless. My complete handling had changed. Yeah. Um, I come up with so many more routines. You had come up with routines. Andy had come up with routines. We've got more routines we're adding. Yeah. So please, if you've purchased Limitless, have a look. Actually printed on the DVD is the registration code. Yeah. Go onto our site and register it and watch the bonus footage because it's going to open up new doors for you. Yeah, absolutely. It really is. Yeah. Um, right, so that's enough about talking about our new tricks. So let's take a look at one of the new ones that we saw at Blackpool. Yeah. So um, we'll see a performance now of you yeah. doing the Larry Lock. Okay. David. Yes. So at Blackpool, as well as working beyond the stand, yeah. I have a few little scouts that mm -hmm. go round and come up to me and say, Peter, you've got to see this, because there's so many dealers there, I don't get a chance to have a look round. Um, but Mark Elston come up to me and said, you've got to come and see this. It's fooled me. You know, I think he'd watched it three times. So I went up there, saw it, loved it, um, ended up getting the European exclusive on it for our customers here at Alex Sam. Now, it's a lock effect. The good thing about this lock compared to other locks of similar ilk ah, are the fact that one, I never have to touch the lock. Right. That is a big part of it. Right. And two, um, I'm not going to explain how the other locks work, but anyone that's got something like the Alan Wong lock or the Impossible lock, things like that, yeah. they will know that um, your display of showing the lock locked is usually a little bit awkward. You've always got to be 
holding the lock and, oh, and okay. stuff like that. Yeah. With this, the beauty of this is you're so um, free to, to just let the spectator handle it. Right. Okay. okay. Now, <coughs> the presentation I've come up with, to be fair, I haven't, um, you know, I haven't played with the presentation that much, but I'm going to go in and say it now. Let's do it. Okay. So, David, I'm a, I'm a magician, as you know. But I had another career path I could have taken, yeah. which was to be a safe cracker. Oh. Yeah. I've got this ability that if I look at a lock, yeah. I can just automatically see the combination. Right. Now, the problem is I haven't got the bowl to go into a place and crack a safe. All I need is to find someone really gullible that I... David, <laughs> how, how would you like to go into business with me? I would love to. Okay, all you've yeah. got to do is get into a bank, yeah. go to the safe, uh -huh. and I will telepathically transmit the code of that safe lock to you. And then you open it, get the money, split it, quids in. Okay, I see a lot more danger there for me in this. Um all right, well, I'll give you 20% of the take then. Okay, perfect. Right, so <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. First of all, you've got two choices. Yes. Do you wanna leave the lock on the table or do you wanna hold the lock? Whatever happens, I'm not gonna to touch it. Oh, what would they want me to do? The, um, they want you to hold it. Okay. No, they don't. Oh. Okay, first of all, just pull the lock to make sure it is locked in place. Happy? Yeah. Okay. Now, you can keep the lock in your hand, you can put it down, you can do whatever you want. I'm not going to touch it. it. Here, yeah. Okay. So, here's the idea, David. I am going to try to transmit the four digits to you. Right. Okay, but we're going to do it one at a time. Okay. Okay. So, first of all, um, just give me the first digit. Four. Sure. If uh, You can change your mind, it's up to you. Okay, now I'm happy with that. You're happy with that? Yeah. And I knew you were going to pick four. That's why I was holding four fingers up under the table, just as proof. And I'll show you there are <laughs> one, two, three. Just that is four. incredible. It is incredible. But you said four. Yeah. Yes? Okay, so we're going to write four. There we go. Yeah. Okay, what's the second digit? Uh, I'm transmitting it now. Nine. Oh. Nine. Third digit? Uh, three. Oh. And the last digit? Six. Sort of. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to write this down because this is the combination you've just given me. Four. Nine. Nine. Three, six. Three. Six, okay? Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you now that that is the combination that opens the lock. Right. Four, nine, three, six. Yeah. Now, if you were to work this out, there are thousands and thousands of different combinations you could put into that lock. Correct. Only one will open it, and that is four, nine, three, six. Right. Now, you've got two choices. Yeah. You can either put 4936 into the lock and open it. Yeah. Or we can mix up the numbers, or you can give me another four numbers just to make sure that they don't open the lock. Okay. Um, Shall we try another one to make sure it doesn't open the lock? Yeah, got it. Okay, so what if we were to put um, 3946? So if you put that into the lock now. 3946. 3. Nine, four, six. Yep, yep. try and open a lock. Doesn't open a lock. Okay, so how about um, nine, four, six, three? Okay. Nine, four, six, three. Yeah. Nothing. No. Okay, so now you've got another chance, uh, another choice. Shall I mix them up again, yeah. or do you just want to go in and open them up? I want to try this one. Okay, so this is the only number that will open the lock, the number you give me. Remember, I haven't touched the lock. Yeah. So put it in, four, nine, three, six. Now, bearing in mind, for you guys at home, you could have chose a completely different four-digit number, and that wouldn't have opened the lock. 
Okay, this is the only number for this effect. Nine, three, six. Okay. <laughs> now That's ridiculous. It's great. Now, for anyone that performs <laughs> effects like this with a lock, you will instantly see That's brilliant. the difference and the benefit of this lock. That's very, very cool. It's really, really good because you can go on. He's got, you get a DVD with it where he teaches the, the close-up routine plus he does a stand-up routine with people holding balls uh, a bit like a chair test type yeah. thing um you can tell me how it works um no so <laughs> but the nice thing is that could you don't want it to go on too long obviously for a performance thing yeah but it's in their hands that's it's in their hands you never have to touch it yeah um obviously you know there is a method to it yeah yeah um so it, it is a trick but um there's no electronics to go wrong. It's all self-contained. Yeah. It is the best lock of this type I've ever seen. Wow. Um, and the method itself is simple. You, you will learn it in two minutes. It's that simple. There's no sleight of hand. I don't have to, you know, manipulate it in any way. You're just fantastic. handling it. So that, my friends, is, if I can reach down and get it. Ridiculously good. The <laughs> Larry lock. Alexair Magic have the U, uh, sorry, the European Ooh. exclusive on it. Um, we don't have huge amounts of these in stock. Yeah. Um, they are priced at eighty four ninety nine, um, and it's phenomenal. It really is. You got me. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea. It's great, and that's that's the Larry Lock. It's one of those things, you know. If you do the, if you're doing table hopping, because a lot of people ask me how they can use the locks for mentalists, it's it's fine. Yeah, but you could use the lock if you had a box on stage with a prize in it, or you took people's. Uh, personal belongings yeah, and put them in the box. Or you could put your rings on here. That's, yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say for close-up. You can put their, their rings on it, lock their rings, they oh, can't open it, yeah. and then you go through this. And it's a great one. You know, a lot of magicians do weddings. It's great to put their wedding rings on it. That's a great idea. You know, brilliant. and just saying you, you forgot the combination or whatever. Um, yeah. yeah, brilliant, brilliant trick. That is the Larry Lock. We've got a limited amount of those in stock now. Right, so the next product we're going to talk about is the Secrets event by yes. our good friend Sean Goodman. Um, Sean Skyped me when he was coming up with this uh, and showed me it. I thought it was a fantastic idea. Basically, it's a savant for getting rid of or producing small objects. Yeah. Um, it can hold, I, th I believe it's four dollar coins. Okay. So it's big enough to hold that. But if you're doing anything like um, a folded card to box, yeah. whether you're doing stuff like the mystery box or the clarity box, something like that, it's perfect because you can sort of fold the card, get rid of it, yeah. and then bring it into play when you need it. Yeah. Um, if you're doing anything with, let's say, a coin unique, you can vanish the first coin and then cleanly vanish the second. Yeah. Um, I think this is nice for bringing in and out of any gimmick yeah. point, really. Yeah, yeah. Specifically. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like if you've got your pockets so full when you're working there, it's the coins right at the bottom, you've got to fiddle with it. Yeah, so but you can hold it in there. Yeah, it's brilliant. It helped, it's great to hold <coughs> it out. Um, and, and I've had a little look at this. It's so easy to, to use. Yeah, and it's easy to install, i.e. Yeah. it will take you about five seconds to install it in any jacket, and once it's installed, it takes you two seconds to remove it. It's, yeah. it's literally from jacket to jacket in, in no time. Yeah, and it won't affect the, the lining, it won't no. ruin the jacket. It's very There's nice no needlework, there's no sticky stuff, it's yeah. just bomb and it's on. It, it's a great bit of kit, reasonably priced, it's uh, 20 quid. Yeah, um, yeah it, it's really good. It's a clever little utility, it is a utility item. Um, and it, yeah, it's great. Should we put the little yeah. trailer on? It's hard to explain how good this is without giving away the secret to it. So. I think I think Sean almost gives away the secret on the trailer. But oh, does he? Yeah, oh. like, you know, what it is and how, because he's got a really nice exposed view of him ditching and, and producing oh, brilliant. Well, um, so we'll case. yeah we'll pop that on 
But that, my friends, is the secrets of Ant. They're in stock now. If you perform magic whilst wearing a jacket, I'm going to share something with you right now that you are going to love. Just imagine having a device which will allow you to secretly ditch and produce a variety of small objects such as folded cards and banknotes, coins, finger rings and billets. Just imagine being able to use it totally surrounded. Just imagine it being simple to fit, simple to move from jacket to jacket and of course, simple to use. Well imagine no more, I bring you Secret Servant. Just let your hand fall naturally to your side and Secret Servant will now come into play. You will immediately be able to load items into and out of Secret Servant. It is so, so simple and so quick. It will immediately bring a smile to your face as soon as you start using it. Secret Surveying can be attached to your jacket or indeed clipped to your belt quickly and easily. You can also fit Secret Surveying onto both sides of your jacket, immediately bringing you double the fun. So where can you use Secret Surveying? Here are just a few possibilities. If you're using cards, what about the mystery box revelation, or a torn and restored card, or card in shoe, or card in cell phone, or card to orange? What about if you're using coins, maybe multiple coin production, or coin vanishes? What about switching out and introducing coins, such as spellbound, wild coin, coin in bottle, bitten coin, cigarette through coin, three fly? What about if you're using finger rings, ring to impossible location, ring flight, linking finger rings, ash and ember, plus much, much more. Secret Savant, your new best friend. Right, so that was The Secret Savant by Sean Goodman. Yeah. Um, so, now we'll tell you a little story. Story time, Alex. <laughs> yeah. It involves our very good friend, Leo Smetzers. Who, if you've ever met Leo, you will know he is a whirlwind. He does not stop. Yeah. So, imagine the scene. It's <laughs> half past five on Sunday night. After all of the convention, after we've been selling for three days. And the worst part is packing away yeah yeah so Jenny is very very organized so she sort of directs the packing this yeah. goes in here this goes in here and then we go and find these massive great big cages yeah to carry everything out to the van or to push everything out to the van so Jenny's put this stuff in a crate yeah giving it to Leo Leo being Leo has grabbed it chucked it onto the cage yeah. the crates just smashed yeah Right, because it's quite a brittle crate. Right. Smashed. All the tricks are everywhere. Yeah. Not so bad, we're still inside the hall, uh -huh. right? But it does mean we've got to pick it up and put it all back in a different crate. Yeah, so we've now stacked them. So it's crate on top of crate, that <laughs> open top crate, it's full of stock. Crate on top of crate. On this massive, great big, heavy metal cage. cage yeah. Right? So imagine the scene. Me. And Leo Schmetzer's, which is a bit like the Chuckle Brothers, yeah, with this big crate that we can't hardly push because it's so heavy. You and Moz on another one, yeah. We've got our hire van outside, yeah. Well, hold on, let's back up because there was a tiny little ramp to get outside, <laughs> okay. And you and Leo somehow got stuck on it like a seesaw, <laughs> causing a backlog of people with their trolleys ready to get out. It was, the thing is, it was so heavy, we had overstocked it, right? We had overpacked it. So we've managed to get it out, finally. And the, the problem is this, this um, cage didn't have sort of, it had two sides, but not a front and a back, told yeah. it. So as we're going up the ramp, <laughs> all the stocks 
<laughs> coming down on me. And we're going, we're going down the other side, it's all going on Leo. So anyway, imagine the same. Chuckle, brothers. <laughs> We've got this brand new hire van, which I didn't bother to take out any extra no. insurance on. Why do you need to? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, we're pushing this trolley down a hill, and believe me, I mean, this thing's taller than, well, it's as tall as you, so yeah, it's over yeah. six foot, right? Yeah. So we've pushed it down the hill. I've left Leo <laughs> in charge as I've gone to open the van. Yeah. So while- well, My cell phone was come out. Yeah, you're following, and you, quite, innocent, <laughs> quite innocently, just say, Leo, Jenny said, when you're putting stuff in a van, please be careful. Uh-huh. So Leo thought it would be a good time to come and jump on your back. <laughs> right? In doing so, letting go of the trolley, full up with stock, right up to the top. Bear in mind, one on a side, hill. Yeah, on a hill, one side of it open, and it happened in slow motion. This trolley goes down towards the van, hit, smashes into the side of the van, all this stock, <laughs> Slowly falls, hits the road, the crate smash into 100 pieces, and there is limitless miles across the road. All over the road. And then it was just a comment when you went, well, at least it's not raining. <laughs> and then it started to rain. <laughs> so anyway. You had to be, I'm sure. But um, yeah, I'm surprised it isn't on YouTube. Yeah, me too. Although, if you check my Facebook, I put on a video uh, which, if it was to look anything like it, it would look like this video. So, so check David's um, Facebook post from yeah. Monday. Yeah, and you will see a little reenact, you know, of what happened. But that's our little story time at Blackpool. Right, so now we're going to show you another uh, presentation from the Bitbook. Now this is this is something. It, it's an idea of uh, mosaics. Yeah. Um, great idea. Now, if you're an owner of the Bitbook, in a couple of weeks we are going to be supplying you with how the routine works and also providing you with the PDFs yeah. for this routine. So once again, because you're a registered user, uh -huh. you'll be able to get the PDFs um, from us for this trick. But basically, uh, David, we're going to try something out because something happened to me the other day Ooh. and I'll, I'll tell you more about it in a moment Please. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try something out I've got a little book from the British Institute of Parapsychology yeah. um, inside this book you will see that each page has a word at the top two geometric shapes and numbers ranging from 1 to 999 all the words are different shapes are different numbers are different um, I'll see if we can show that I don't know if you'll be able to see that but Every page is actually different. They are. Okay. So, first of all, what I want you to do is just hold the book in the palm of your hand, and at the top of the page, on every single page, there's a different time. Okay. So, I want you to just lift up. I'm not going to look, but I want you to lift up the book to any page and have a look at the time. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to play a little game of uh, word association. Ooh. Okay. So, I want you to open the book, have a look at the word. And then once you've got it, close the book. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Now on the back of the book, there are some objects. Your word will be associated with one of those objects. Just have a look on the back of the book and just tell me when you've got the object. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, this object, is this something to do with your hand? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Um, do me a favour. Uh, we now need... Um, a country as well. So open a book to any page, have a look at the number on the bottom of the page. Yeah. I'm not going to look, but I want you to add the digits of that number together. So if you're looking at 24, it will be 2 plus 4. If you're looking at 100, yeah, yeah you've got a number. Uh -huh. Okay, turn to the front page of the book. If there's a country by your number, remember it. If there isn't, just randomly pick a country. Got one. You've got one. Okay, yeah. close the book. Now I said something happened to me the other day. It's my anniversary coming up. Oh. Um, and I'm taking Jenny away. Oh, does she know? Um, she will now. Ah, where you going? I'll tell you in a moment, <laughs> okay. because this is really weird. In my pocket, I've got a receipt with a little surprise. Right. What was the country you were thinking of? France. Okay, and what's the capital city? Paris. Paris. Yeah. Um, what time were you thinking of? Three o'clock. 
And what item from the back of the book? Diamond ring. A diamond ring. Now, I've actually got a receipt in my pocket. Can you tell everyone where that's from? Paris Jewellers. And can you just please read out aloud what that says? Your ring will be ready for collection at three o'clock. <laughs> nice. So you've got sort of like a confabulation routine. Yeah, yeah on very there. nice. Um, so that's a great idea by uh, Mozzie. Just have this in your wallet and you're, you're ready to go with a brilliant confabulation thing. Um, obviously, you could use this as a confabulation as well. Yeah. You know, to get things uh, selected. But that's just another routine you can do with the Bitbook. That's using three of the, the reveals on there. Nice. Um, but honestly, if you haven't got a Bitbook yet, I really recommend you get one, whether you're a magician or a mentalist. Yeah, I didn't realise the power of this until I was demonstrating it at Blackpool, at Blackpool and now it's in my pocket. Yeah. Because I, I don't do a lot of mentalism, you know that. But to create the feeling that I can, you know, read minds and, and that, and there's no real memory work at no. all with this. No. Uh, which falls right into my yes category. Yeah. Because I can pick it up and do it. I, I haven't got to worry about it, I haven't got to remember anything, I can just go straight into it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's quite valuable to me. But I think it's brilliant. Okay, so that is the BIP. Right guys, so that's most probably it for this week. It is, yeah, it's been a good week though. Yeah. Um, it's nice to be back in, to normality, for say. Yeah. Uh, but we've got a lot of awesome projects up and coming. So yeah, we have, definitely. We'll be busy with them. Um, I just want to say as well, there was um, a couple of things that really caught my eye at Blackpool that aren't oh, yeah. available yet. Yeah. One of them is an effect by Mark Lavelle and Mar Martin Rowland. Uh -huh. um, it's being released by my very good friend Tatanus. Um, it's called Changeling. It's it is ridiculously awesome. good. It's so good. It is really good. Unless you give the um, the trick to Leo. Yeah. <laughs> Who, and you. It wasn't me. They were like spoiled kids. I got this trick. Tatanus actually made me one because I was so desperate for it and I'm rubbish at making stuff. He made me one, gave it to me, and these two were like two little school kids and started pulling it apart because they didn't have one to play with. It wasn't um, me. But All right. it is, it's phenomenal. We will actually show you it as soon as it's out. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it's really, really good, so keep your eye out for so that. commercial as well, practical for the worker. Yeah. It's brilliant. And the other one, which actually blew my mind was John Allen's Paragon oh, box. Oh God, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, you say you don't see nothing, but it's, it's as it should look. Yeah, you know? and then it's, the um, examined. it's a transparent Carter box. Yeah. So it's a, a crystal type box, folded card in there. Yeah. He gets you to sign a card, um, literally tips the card into his hand. That, that's what happens. Puts the box on the table, fully examinable. Opens your card. And then has it up. And then gives it to you. Yeah. Um, and the other, the other thing I, I really felt about it, and I said this to John, I've never considered opening the spectator's card. I always tip it out and give it to them. Yeah. John done it to me, and even aside from the trick itself, and I said it to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was speaking to Chris Harden yesterday, I Skyped him, and I, I said to him, you've got to open the card for them. Because for me, as soon as he'd done it, I thought, that's how I'm gonna do it from now on. Like, yeah. not only the box, but opening the card. Because as soon as you give someone a folded card, they know what it is. They got my card. Yeah. yeah, the impacts, to me, not the impact's gone, but it, it's, they're expecting it, yeah. you know? But when John opened it, I'm sort of going, and right until the last minute, I'm going, that can't be. And you've got that pause be. point as well, and you can play that as long as yeah, yeah. you like, and then you turn it. And you but it, it. it's great. You've got to see this Paragon box, because as far as card to boxes go, yeah. um, you know, there are some great ones on the market. There really are. But this, to me, was... It, it's, I think it's the only card to box, apart from when Mystery Box first came out. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the only card to box that has genuinely 
fooled me. Yeah. Genuinely, I, I didn't have a clue yeah. because literally the box is here with a card in it, tips it out, the box goes back on my hand, he opens the card, and, and that's it. it. It's incredible. So that, um, John's actually releasing that properly in about six weeks, I think, five yeah. or six weeks. Uh, as soon as we've got a trailer for it, we'll put it up. Actually, there is. Um, There's a little video, isn't there? Yeah, from, and this was a one-shot thing that he filmed in the Ruskin, I think. Yeah, yeah. If we can find that, we'll drop it in now. Otherwise, um, actually, let's, should we drop Changeling in as well? Okay, yeah, let's do that right now. There is no magic more powerful, more emotional, than something that happens in the spectator's hand. This is the Changeling. Put your note in the glass, okay? And I want you to hot, put one hand here and one hand just here. And I want you to push nice and tight and bring your hands down to here just so you're not going to bang into the table here. In a second, in a second, you're going to shake that glass up and then down, okay? Just going to move your hands to about there, up and down. And uh, yeah, like that. Are you ready? Okay, but nice, nice sharp movement. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, Carl, if uh, you can hold your hand out for me. Uh -huh. Brilliant. You put the uh, five just there. I want you to close your hand up for me. Okay. Did you feel anything happen? Not uh, yet. No. Open your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's when you end up that's with ten. <laughs> that's so good! Ah! The wrist. I've never had magic in my hand like that before. <laughs> that's like... That's the best thing I've ever seen. Thank you very I much. I felt the magic. Like, it was like in my hands. You been holding onto the box the whole time? Absolutely. Inside the box. And playing card. Open up the card. You're signed. Thanks. That's nine and a half. Unbelievable. Okay, so those were the two tricks that we've been raving about. Yeah. Um, check out our site because as soon as they're up there, I tell you they're gonna sell. They will. They yeah. they are fantastic. Um, right, so that's about it. It that is. really is about it. Yeah, to, uh, for those tricks and many more as well, to be the first people to hear when we get them in stock or new products, make sure you're following us on Facebook and, of course, Twitter. And subscribe just about here. As we keep saying, we're on a new channel, so make sure you are following that. Uh, other than that... Um, the only other thing I would say is uh, if you're not already subscribing to our email... Yeah. Make sure you pop onto our site and subscribe because we do have sort of offers and things yeah. going out to people that are subscribed on the email and you get to hear about stuff first. Um, and I think that is about it for this week. Well, there we go, guys. Um, thanks for joining us and thank you always for your support on the Alex and Video Blog. We had some great feedback at Blackpool and we will see you next week on the Alex and Video Blog.